I started, I've kind of gone through an evolution of my midfoot fusion hardware and, and really foot fusion hardware in general. Um, and started, uh, I, I never was in the uh, single 4.0 screw category, uh, but uh, started with uh, using a cross screw uh, plus some sort of a plate over the top and then discovered the benefits of nitinol, which was a game changer uh, with the dynamic compression. And so uh, used nitinol staples and, and got good results with nitinol staples, but there are some pitfalls with nitinol staples. Um, specifically, like you talked about, you've got kind of narrow bridge. You're putting, I never really understood having a round hole and having a small square peg inside that round hole, not filling the hole. Um, and then not only that, uh, you would sometimes have kind of some sharp edges on the edges of those staples. I actually started trying to use some of the four uh, limb staples. Uh, and uh, specifically, if you were doing them over the first TMT joint, I had to go back in and take out a bunch because there were such prominent edges over that spot. Um, and so at the end of the day, you want an implant that's it's quick and it's easy and it gives you reliable and reproducible results. And that is what I've found with the Neospan CIS system. Um, it's something that, that I love because it just works is really what it comes down to.